on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am driving this. This is the Fiat Premier Padmani. Now I think this is from 1991. This is from 1972. This one belongs to Harshad. This one belongs to Sandeep. And these have been modified by Rohit who runs a garage somewhere in Pune to restore and modify old Fiat cars. The black one is obviously good looking the white one is fantastic but we're going to do a quick walk around on this car because white one ka the video mein chuka dekh lo yaar. so you can see it gets this nice chrome grill with the fiat logo on it it gets this chrome bumper as well and it doesn't get blackened indicators which is the case on that car but gets blackened headlight with sort of a projector setup as well that's kind of weird and awkward and awesome anyways let's open the engine bay which means with little love i need to push this aside because I struggle here. like i am the real ananya pandey when it comes to opening the hood of a fiat car the original fiat car Finally, I managed to open this and there is this strut bar you can say because it automatically hits the stopper and stops there. Now the engine bay looks absolutely fantastic. It's painted in black, looks super nice with these orange cables which is for the spark plug I believe. <laughs> Red color finishing here and of course this happens to be the booster for the brakes. Now this one gets disc brakes which is nice, this one does not get disc brakes. So engine bay looks fantastic, just look at the attention detail in the engine bay. Have you ever seen such a cool engine bay? There's no insulation there, it doesn't need it. I have to actually, you know, put some effort today. Here we're going to just shut this for a moment, which means again, I need to just push it and there it shuts. It's very smooth sort of an operation. This car is under four meters in length and it has this nice tasteful silver thingy. I don't know what it is exactly. You can call it the side molding or something of that sort. But this is actually hand built and this one is running on 15 inch wheels. You can see inside it gets disc brakes. It says forge racing wheels. The size of the tires 195 15s and the pattern of the tires is very sporty indeed. Okay, these cars do not have a rear view mirror because people from the rear have to be careful when they come across this car because they are just ogling at it. It looks so freaking fantastic. It has a nice long antenna. The rear obviously gets drums which is also painted in red color and then you can see the mud flap as well it says fiat on the mud flap you can see the wheels look really nice and tasteful on this car this is actually where the fuel goes and uh, where is the key of the vehicle here it is in my hand right now classic uh, brake lights which are not changed that one gets the blackened treatment this one does not get any black treatment and you've got dual exhaust here as well you can see the underbody now you know this is a body on frame platform rear wheel drive vehicle i'm going to use the key to unlock the boot which is a bit of a task because yeah, there it slots in. There we turn it left and here it engages. So there it holds on to its own. Now the boot is a little small as such because there is some stuff which is kept inside. I'll just keep it out for the moment. It gets a massive subwoofer along with speakers and it doesn't get a spare wheel. Rather, it doesn't get a spare tire. However, it gets a spare wheel there. You can see no tire though. Just kidding. It might be added later. I'll just put that back inside. Now compared to this car, this one doesn't open as much so i'm just going to shut it for a moment which means just pull this lever and i can't drop it like this so i have to be really very careful there we put it back into place and then move it a bit to remove the key you have to be really very gentle with this car because there's a lot of tlc which has gone in making this car now it doesn't get a single piece running silver chrome line as such no door pocket so that's the reason the water bottle is lying like that beautiful red leather inside but there are magazine holders here, which is a nice and tasteful thing. Now, let me do one thing. Let me get inside. First and foremost, person doesn't have a head who sits in this car. I'm just kidding. There is no headrest anywhere whatsoever. Doesn't need it as such. Okay. It feels a bit difficult inside because leg room and knee room isn't that great. Headroom, well, it's kind of lacking. My head touches. However, the good news is the roof is really nice, finished in nice leather as well. Seat is wide enough to seat three, but rear wheel drive. So transmission hump is definitely there as well wonderful seats car looks absolutely new there's a light placement here and the dashboard looks absolutely fantastic you can see the quality of the interiors is absolutely stunning i really love it okay but someone as tall as me finds it really very difficult to get in and out of this vehicle in the door requires some effort to close but you can't really bang it in either because the owner is somewhere there and he sees it he's going to be really pissed off that i'm doing all this i'm just kidding okay uh, they love their cars a lot which is a great thing obviously you have to put the key to unlock the vehicle and here we are going to get inside now the similar things inside this white fiat is there in the black one as well so no door pockets here seat is a single piece bench unit so three people can sit in uh, i don't know how they're going to put their legs though one on this side one on that side but there's no dead pedal there's no space to move the leg because the clutch is so much towards the center console and there's a dead pedal on the right side as such now it has this uh, storage space uh, shelf below 
now this is for the lights okay this is light off this is low beam this is high beam but parking light and this is also turn on the light so there are two controls for the lights and this is actually for the wipers it gets this type r steering wheel which is kind of sporty with dummy controls for the yeah steering mounted buttons there are none of them frameless inside rear view mirror it doesn't get any dimming function but it's kind of imported and here you obviously get some badges and stuff and yeah same is the case here but no mirror or something of that sort there is a glove box here okay and you can see this shelf is like one unit not like the one in the white car because the center console is intruding there here's the center console of this vehicle and this is actually for the horn which is not yet put so it's like a dummy unit let's do one thing let's put the key inside and uh, yeah i'm kind of struggling today yeah here it is now we're going to turn on the car it shows this red light which is going to do it in a minute it gets this audio system here some storage space here usb charging socket it's actually a 12 volt charging socket and these are the controls for the wipers nice gear lever this is actually imported from italy and it's beautiful looking unit the horn horn is also actually nice wipers i'm not going to touch them at all because i don't want to ruin the windscreen of this car and let's do one thing let's actually turn on this vehicle which means i press the clutch and there yeah it absolutely roars to life sounds really nice and it gets a classic instrument cluster which means this is the fuel meter this is actually the temperature meter and this is the speedometer with the odometer in the center and telltale lights everywhere beautiful look at the vibration it's there actually and we're just going to turn off the vehicle so beautiful steering wheel i mean it feels so nice to hold as well yeah the cabin is a little uh, narrow as such but three people have been sitting in this car in olden times as such any which way let's start driving this beauty right away all right we're all set to go which means putting the key inside yeah right ulta gaadi piche ja rahi hai clutch chodo and here turn on the car it roars to life when it is already in first gear so off we go my goodness this car has a next level feature which is heated seats and heated steering wheel as well oh god it sounds so nice i was actually looking for the gear lever yeah that is so funny i love the way the speedometer always keeps moving like this my goodness the sound absolutely crazy sound i love the gear lever on this car it feels so much easier to operate and there's some space here as well for me to move around that's another good feature but heated seats heated steering wheel heated cabin everything is heated inside this is a car which is perfect for winter conditions actually not because it's the sun which has heated the car and obviously there's no air conditioning as such i love the way it sounds but that sound completely becomes flat in third gear performance kind of lags there and brakes are kind of sharp to pick up and then i'm obviously going to get into second gear because i've realized you can't put the car in first gear because it doesn't have a synchronized gear in first the but mini s1 has it and so does the other uh, premier what is that 118 ne2 so here okay there is a stone so we are just going to get into reverse which is push behind and now we are into reverse and yeah that is also something which i wanted to do and then stall the car and make a fool of myself never mind here we turn on it turns on in first go rev the motor a bit and yeah that was fine out of reverse into first gear oh my god the gearbox is so much slicker shifting here rear wheel drive for the win and off we go my hands are burning right now I love the way the gearbox on this car works and the sound is so freaking loud and I'm getting all the gears right today can you believe it all the gears right because I have understood how it works around the corner lot of body roll as such but still it maintains its line the tires are bigger here obviously helping the cause in terms of the steering feel as well as the handling of the vehicle but the brakes are definitely soggy and uh, now I'm just going to get full throttle to give them a nice pass by on the camera oh my god Oh, 70 kilometers per hour sounds so loud, really loud in the top end of the rev range. Only thing is braking performance is not that great. No ABS, none of that bullshit. Pure <laughs> braking with the, the you know uh, thinking about God of course, and then obviously film stone as well. These guys are not about high speed. This is about the feel, and in terms of feel, it is absolutely rocking. Coming to a corner, you roll a bit and you get in, and then can kind of fall as well. No seat belts as such. I remember uh, my dad was driving the car. My mom was sitting ahead. He came to a corner, the door opened. My dad held her with one hand, and he was steering the car very casually. Actually, listening to the story, it freaks me out. It's so dangerous. Oh my God! Look at that KTM rowdiness. And here we are into fourth gear as well. I love the way the speedometer dances. So you have no clue of what speed you are in. There is no speed alarm in this car, which is a good thing. And there is no seat belt alarm in this car because it doesn't have a seat belt. There's a handbrake which is right there on the left side. So the co-passenger actually handles the handbrake in order to drift. But you don't need it at all. You know why? Simply because it is rear-wheel drive, which means you can drift and stuff. You are into second and. Yeah, okay on oh, we in second don't come in first okay now we should come in first and they go over here now they i am so bad with leaving the clutch on this car creating that jerky movement unfortunately no outside rear view mirrors so you have to rely on this big fat mirror which is okay fine the reason why the padmani actually stopped selling well was okay 
second gear into first from second you go into first the cias is right on my ass these guys are honking you have to understand i'm driving a classic car guys hold on and off we go oh my god the feel of driving this car is just something else it sounds so good into fourth i love the way these gears are operated and that person will my probably not stop but i can honk them the horn is also loud it seems the horn is on the inside nice breeze coming here but what a fantastic car the feel of a fiat is just something else of the premier padmin now i'm not going to get into technical aspects i think 47 horsepower 71 newton meters they reduce the power change the carburetor for better efficiency then they bought again higher power output just to make it fast and when they had competition the real reason why premier could not continue selling well in the indian market was there was a lot of competition from maruti and then i think in 1991 lpg happened liberalization privatization globalization economy was opened up lot of foreign players came into the market like devu and general motors and ford and all those people and competition became really tough for premier and they were not able to keep up now this is actually based on the fiat 1200 it is a body on frame platform rear wheel drive vehicle has a lot of feel but in the center head position steering is just so lackluster you look at the steering wheel it doesn't have any feel or feedback as such now i know the trick i get into second first and then i get into okay second and then first when i've kind of come to a halt and then i leave the clutch so aggressively you know the car is like jumping up and down because it has got so much punch as such and then obviously there are a lot of uh, modifications on this car which just make it better uh, turning radius is quite a bit as such don't worry i'll manage <laughs> he roy is actually worried if i'll just <laughs> hit the curb and here we are into first gear first and foremost traction control off launch control mode on left foot on the clutch right foot on the accelerator revving the motor wheel spin baby Yeah, baby. Second takes it to 60 kilometers per hour. Wheel spins like crazy as well, and then everyone around wakes up because this is a car which is quite fast. The mirror actually moves on its own, so that you don't have to bother who's coming at the rear. Am I in the right direction? Why is this Polo coming from there? Yeah, I think I'm in the right direction. <laughs> Being in Dubai in the past few days has kind of created that confusion for me. Point and shoot this car because of its light weight, and then understeer is not that much because obviously rear wheel drive. So the front wheels are not steering as well as powering. You can just steer and don't worry about anything as such. So yeah, it's a wonderful car, and you know you really have to have a lot of patience to have one of these because it requires a lot of maintenance, and you have to drive it with a lot of care and love. Fuel efficiency is somewhere between nine to twelve kilometers per liter. You will really not care about that because it's not going to be a daily driver. But I know people who actually drive this daily as well. That is the level of commitment and love they have for this Fiat. And when I was small, my uncle taught me there are some lines which. Cross, so you know exactly if the car is going to clear. If the bonnet line is where the other car is, this car is going to clear. You can see that right now, right? And uh, into second, never take it in first vessel. Leave the clutch very smooth. Actually, the clutch now has sort of a bounce back effect. It's not the smoothest as such. And then you have to really slow down over bad bumps like this because it has leaf springs at the rear. So ride quality is not the best as such. I mean, it's acceptable, but then the Padmini was acres better than the Ambassador. All those people who are seeing this video right now and have fans of the Ambassador, take that! No, 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 no. The Ambassador is not even half as good as the Padmini. The Padmini is just so much fun to drive. I know the ambassador was a politician's favorite and was bigger in terms of size and stuff like that and could accommodate 15 to 20 people at once but this one has a soul and that's the reason why I love it I mean come on which other old vintage car you can just corner like this when you can ah the sound is so orgasmic and on that bombshell stand well thank you so much for watching if you like this vlog make sure to give it a thumbs up that's the like button and also subscribe to this channel I will see you in the next video soon bye bye